Welcome back to Free Code Camp's Basic Algorithm Scripting. This is repeat a string, repeat a string. It tells us repeat a given string first argument number of times second argument. Return an empty string if number is not a positive number. So what we can basically do here, we could erase this. Actually, if I go back here, if I return string, this should return ABC the way we see here. So it does return ABC because all we're doing is we're taking whatever's passed in and returning it. So what we want to do is when we uh, run this inside of our function here, we want it to essentially repeat the first argument the number of times that is passed in is the second argument. So what we can do, well, let's see first, uh, they gave us this helpful link of a global string, which uh, takes us here. And uh, it just talks about strings here. But really, we want to learn how we can repeat that string number of times. And if we just uh, kind of look through the different stuff that's available, properties, methods that could be uh, performed on strings would be uh, these here. We want something that repeats, though. So they have like char at, char code at. Um, Maybe like something like a match. No, that's regular expression. They have a repeat would be returns a string consisting of the elements of the object repeated the given times. So let, we can look at this one. And we see that the repeat method constructs and returns a new string which contains the specified number of copies of the string on which it was called concatenated together. So that actually might do what we're trying to do. And uh, we could see here that you put in your string, then dot repeat, and then it takes in count, which probably be how many times you want it to repeat. So count is an integer between zero and infinity, indicating the number of times to repeat the string and the newly created uh, string that is to be returned. So what we can do is really kind of use this. Let's go back over here. You could erase this now, and there's two conditions. One, like it's saying here, it got to return an empty string if num is not a positive number. So we could do an if statement that says if num less than zero, then we want it to return an empty string. So we could say str is assigned empty string, um, return str. So that's our first condition. Then we can say else. In our second condition, we could apply that method we learned, which could be str. Well, I guess we could create a new one. We'd call it var str concat. And we want it to repeat number of times, which is whatever is going to be passed in. And we just want to return string concat. So the logic behind this is we should be able to pass in whatever we want when we call repeat string num times. Whatever string that we pass in as a first argument must be repeated the number that's passed in here. Unless this number is negative, which is what our first if checks. If it is negative, it returns an empty string. But if it is not negative, then it runs this code, which will take that string and apply the repeat method number of times and then we return that string number of times. So let us try this see if it works. As you guys can see we did pass it and when ABC is passed in we see ABC ABC ABC. So that is repeat a string, repeat a string in free code accounts basic algorithm section.